Hopefully everyone has put their hand in the air right now. That should cover you all. Um, for those who are here for the first time, the bathroom, the, the men's bathroom is after the lifts and on your left, and the ladies is before the lifts and on your left. Um, in the event of an emergency, we have exits down there and exits by the elevators. Um, final presentation for the Kia cohort. Uh, ten weeks goes by pretty fast, and it's, um, but it's ten weeks since the last um, cohort graduated, and a lot of them are hanging out over there. So if you have any questions about the course, then feel free to have a chat with students around. And it's, um, yeah, but nine weeks since um, I first met this group of people, and it feels like an eye blink. Um, it's been a, this course is such a roller coaster. It's um, the invitation is for people to drop everything in their lives apart from their kids. You can still you know make time for family and urgent commitments, but just immerse yourself in programming, and that's what people have done. And it's amazing how much people can learn. So nine weeks ago, I was helping people on the floor, and it was really it was arrays, it was variables, it was quite fundamental JavaScript things. And then last week, I was helping them on these projects. And it was more a case of, okay, I need to sit down for an hour, maybe an hour and a half, to try and solve some of the problems. Um, so they were hitting the problems that I would see in industry. And it's just so impressive to see, see people put in such commitment and make such progress. So I'm super proud to present the cohort tonight. And we're going to have three presentations. Each one will be about 10, 15 minutes. There'll be some space for the questions at the end. After that, we're going to have a little award-giving ceremony. And then there's drinks and cake and celebrations and general... <laughs> Hey everyone, um, my name is Usha and this is our app, What's for Lunch? What's for Lunch is a food app based for vegan and vegetarian food within the Wellington area. Hi, my name is Magda, I'm a facilitator and I was looking after managing our timeline. Hi, my name is Anya, I was a big master and I was just taking care of not having too many uh, merge conflicts. Um, my role within the group was product owner. I had a vision of how I wanted the app to be, very clean and easy for the user to use. And so my role was to make sure that that was maintained throughout the whole process. Uh, so our uh, so at first I must say that we haven't been coding before joining people. <coughs> so now we are coding for nine weeks. And I must say I'm really proud of our work. Uh, we wanted to use technologies we've learned during our bootcamp, like React, Redux. So Usha wanted to concern on off and being able to use it in our app. Also shows our user uh, interface design and uh, shows using the small library Buma. Anya, she created our background and she also wanted to uh, concern on data, uh, uh, data present presenting and uh, server side. And she created our wonderful component theater, which you'll be able to see during our, our demo. And um, I was a uh, main tester, and also I wanted to concern on, on Google Maps, how they work, and how we are able to use it in our app. And now Anya will you tell, tell you about, uh, some more about outline. Okay, so once we already had our learning objectives defined, we knew what we want to learn. We started, we started uh, planning sessions. So first thing we did, we just did a brainstorm and we spent the whole day planning. So as you see, here's the, here's the board with our just first thoughts. It's not a coincidence, it's close to the couch because we've spent most of the coding time on the couch in the horizontal position. <laughs> and yeah, so <coughs> the next thing we drew was uh, actual, a wire, actual wire frame for our app. We very quickly uh, decided that we want to have it like one page up. So we divided it into smaller components and later on we've been able to define what type of data we have to use how should our database and the server side should look like, what type of components we should have. And another thing we use for planning is the board. Also that one is ours. We changed them many times. So our board was basically divided into three columns. On the first column, we had uh, to-do tasks. And each day we were deciding what, which tasks are the most important for the day. Later on, when we've been uh, working on it, it's, it's Magda, Yusha, and Anya. We've been assigning the tasks to ourselves. And when we finished and the tasks were merged with the master and tested, we, we put them to the done column. As you see, there's a lot of tasks done. At the beginning, we started with one third of that, but later on, we just started adding some. some. <coughs> and to see how our work looks in practice, I will pass it to Usha, who will show you how the app looks like. So I had the initial idea of some kind of food app. 
but I wasn't particularly sure which direction to take it in. And it wasn't until we came together as a group that we really kind of nailed that we wanted to narrow down on vegan, vegetarian and food and make it um, for Central Wellington. All of us being new to Wellington, we've only been here for about a few months, basically the beginning of this course, and loving to try new food, we were really excited to get going on this. Um, so let's start this week. So this is What's for Lunch. I'm here with my girls, I've just come to this for the first time, and I want to buy myself some yummy vegan food. Um, so we have a map here, we have all our filters, um, I want vegan options for myself, but these guys, they don't want something that's vegan, so they're going to they're gonna go for meat <laughs> options as well. Um, and we're going out for dinner, so we're going to put that on as well. Um, we're at the top of Cuba Street, so these three here look good. We've got Fidel's, we've got Laundry, and we have Southern Cross Garden. So let's have a look, shall we? I think we should check out Southern Cross Garden first, I think that would be good. Yeah, no, look at, look at those negative reviews. Right? I don't know, I, I think we might give that one a miss. So we're going to close that now and we're going to go with laundry, I think. Yeah, sounds good. Look at that, way better. Than, look at all that blue. Um, Ten positive review, review, reviews, sounds good to me. Um, let's go, let's go have our, our meal. All right, we're back. Um, <laughs> Log in so that we can post a review. Yeah. Um, put in some magical pre registered details in there. And head back down. As you'll see, it still saved all your options there that you had before, even when you blocked in, which is pretty cool. Got all those comments, and we want to add one of our own. So this says, Was the price fair for the portion? Yep, we're going to go. Yeah, pretty good. Would you recommend the restaurant? Yes. Yep. Yeah, cool. Let's add a comment. We. It was really hard time for us because we have just like a few days to create our web. So uh, we are stressed and tired, but we managed to do it. <laughs> yes, so we were support each other and uh, when somebody was struck, struggling with like, a problem, we tried to help each other and as you can see, even we tried to spend our lunch together. <laughs> Only issue was like, but uh, Usha, she likes like ice cream chocolate and we don't like them, so it's <laughs> like, so you case for us. <laughs> yes. yes, there was. I think there was oh just God. this one day when I feel bad. Like we, in general, we got very good experience working together, and we're very, we've been very happy. But we had, I think it was Monday. We felt a bit down and drained, and we just were we've been working very hard. And at the end of the day, we just thought, Oh my God, we did nothing today, completely nothing. So the very first day, I think we did on Tuesday morning is this very small board in here, which basically shows up which. Uh, which parts of the app each of us did and uh, basically we realized that all of us were working very hard and it was just a nonsense to do this way. Yes, uh, this is our happy face after, you know, after that and this is basically our main uh, coding <coughs> position during last week. We really like the horizontal program, that's good for us, it works. Um, so, yeah, we, we had a lot of fun really working on this together. It was. I think we were just all so enthusiastic about the idea and just um, gelled really well together. Um, I think one of the coolest things about our site is maintaining that vision of wanting it to be really clean and smooth for the user. Um, you'll notice our jumping thing, so when you click on the click me and it jumps down to the restaurant view and then you click the arrows and it continues down. That's using a no package called jump. Um, it's very simple to implement. You just basically write the function jump with where you want it to go to. Um, but the kind of more challenging thing was figuring out um, where we want to implement it and um, for like what kind of usage. Um, so you may not have noticed, but um, at the bottom of our single view restaurant, we have a little close button that you click and it jumps up. Um, it jumps up to the restaurant view, but you don't actually see the component closing. Um, that happens after one second timeout. Um, and it just kind of gets that nice computer magic thing going on that the user doesn't really notice, but it makes the overall experience really good. Yeah. 
another thing, of course, like besides the OS and all the features with it, like map or filtering, was just the data presentation, at least for me, because I know it's very hard sometimes to present data. So uh, we used another <coughs> NPM package to do that. Like you remember this 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 up and this pie chart moving, and like it's easy to use. However, we had a challenge uh, which was basically connected with passing the pie chart correct data, because we had to figure out how to uh, count all negative and all positive um, comments, and we did that on the server side, and and we passed an object with the numbers to API to that component, so the component receives correct numbers for each singular restaurant, separately. So I, I think we've been very proud with having it working and just moving, just it's very it's so fun. Fun. <laughs> so good. Um, so in summary, we've had a really good experience. I'm really proud of what we've come up with. It makes me so happy. Um, but we really want to keep working on it, so if you have any you know, suggestions or anything, you can contact us with our contact form. Um, that would be really cool. We'd really love it. So, thank you for listening. That's what's for lunch. Uh, what module did you use for the pie chart? Uh, I don't remember exactly <coughs> of it, uh, but I can check it for you. It's, it's NPM uh, module. So yeah, it's, it's the first one you do. <laughs> 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 yeah. The name consists of three words. I can find it for you. <laughs> How many working tests did you have? Over yeah. 40? So Anya, you mentioned you had to kind of direct get traffic, so there are a bunch of conflicts. Were there really that many that you didn't get sorted out? No, we didn't. Okay. Like, actually, we had like two, and one was in CSS, <laughs> which is not that, um, not that <laughs> But I just, I, but like mostly we were avoiding them. So we've been making sure that each of us works on separate files, that each of us works on the updated version of the uh, of the branch before pushing it, and we just. We've been very careful and we've been working close to each other, so also each of us knew what the other person is working at. So we could like predict some problems earlier. So I didn't have that much work, I was just contributing mostly. <laughs> but it was like more about predicting it. Most of your work was in our group chat. It was done. Please pull master. Yes. Please pull master. Please pull master. <laughs> I know, just, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, I guess you got to test a lot of restaurants while you were doing this. Which was yes. your favorite one? Good question. Um, my favorite is Artemis. Yes. My favorite is Midnight Express. And I like Soda Pop Cross. Though I know Harrison is not Sorry. <laughs> it was negative in the screencast. <laughs> <laughs> what determines a negative, um, like, what part of the comment determines if that it's negative or positive? Yeah, so the com comments are consist of two parts, like there are true, truly or false values. The first one is the question connected, uh, it was in the um, comments. You could ask, we were asked the question whether do you think that the restaurant is expensive? Whether the value is, the fair portion? is it a fair portion? Another question was, do you, would you recommend that? So here we've got, got just two truly or false values. That's why we were able to count that on the server side and just pass one object to the pie chart that was using that data. Yeah. That was it. Great job. <laughs>